A knee injury can leave you not only in pain, but also with permanent physical damage. Think for one minute what it would be like to have your mobility instantly taken away. Here's how in just one moment a valley woman lost her way of life and meet the doctor who helped get her back into action after a devastating accident on the ski slopes. From skydiving to scuba, black diamond skiing to motorcycling, local valley realtor Katrina Harmon has spent a lifetime loving extreme sports. But last spring, a final run on the ski slopes nearly cost her her life and left her in a battle to walk again. And I remember falling straight down. I remember the branches hitting my face. Uh, and then I remember kind of sitting there assessing everything and yanking a huge branch off with a broken arm, which I didn't know, and throwing it. Skiing on her final run of the day, Katrina lost her edge in some ice, flew off a cliff at a high rate of speed, and hit a tree falling more than 15 feet to the ground through the tree branches. I'm thankful I'm alive because the reality is I could have hit other parts of me that that, that impact really woke me up. After the accident, Katrina was whisked off to the hospital. And then her medial collateral ligament... After finding out Katrina had multiple ligament injuries and more, she was immediately referred to orthopedic surgeon Peter Simonian. Anybody with this type of injury, you know, to three extremities is a very severe injury. It doesn't matter who you are. This is going to have a profound effect on your life. Dr. Simonian has lots of experience dealing with multiple ligament injuries. Katrina's were extremely uncommon. This is tip, more typical of a high-energy injury like a motor vehicle accident or something such as that. But again, it's uncommon to have multi-ligament injuries in both knees simultaneously. Hey, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Let's get you transferred on over. Over the two weeks before her surgery, physical therapist Curtis Cookingham of Thrive Physical Therapy worked to get Katrina prepared for the best outcome. One, we want to make sure that the patient has as much range of motion back at the joint is absolutely possible. It's just the fact that you go into surgery with a stiff joint, you're going to come out with a stiff joint. Second thing is that the swelling around the knee is as much under control as possible. And then the third thing is we want to make sure that the quads in the front, the muscles in the front, are firing as well as we can possibly get them to fire. Firing or getting the muscles stimulated again help in the healing process. Curtis says this physical therapy is important because the higher functioning you are going into surgery, the higher functioning you are after surgery. After two weeks of physical therapy, Dr. Simonian operated on Katrina's right knee. So on the right knee, we, we reconstructed the anterior cruciate ligament. We also reconstructed or repaired the lateral collateral ligament, and then there's ligamentous structures in this posterior lateral corner of the knee that this model doesn't demonstrate, which we repaired. And these are all critical to getting the knee back to a normal function, or as close to normal function as possible. She also had some cartilage injury. These meniscus cartilages in the knee were injured, and they were repaired as well. There's also a nerve that travels down this region called the perineal nerve, and this was decompressed in the area of hematoma where the injury was. Three weeks after her first surgery, Dr. Simonian operated on her left knee. On the left knee, uh, Katrina had significantly more injury, and in this knee we reconstructed the anterior cruciate ligament in the front, the posterior cruciate ligament in the back, and the medial collateral ligament on the inside of the knee in contrast to the outside of the knee of the opposite knee. With her reconstructed knees, the next step for Katrina will be the most work. What more is in store for Katrina, and how did she fare? Well, it's taken six months, but we'll show you the results of her hard work in a moment.